I'm Deb Burdick. I'm a licensed clinical social worker and a board-certified neurofeedback practitioner. And I combine psychotherapy and mindfulness and neurofeedback to help people feel better, think better, and perform at their absolute peak. And I have a private practice in Washingtonville, New York, but I also do consultation and coaching online and remotely, so it doesn't really matter where you are, you can <laughs> uh, find me and I could probably help. And I got interested in neurofeedback back in 1999. I've been doing, been a practitioner for quite a while. My uh, daughter was my first client. She had been diagnosed with ADHD and we had put her on meds in grade school and her grades went up and her behavior calmed down a lot. And then we did neurofeedback and we were able to take away the meds and her grades stayed up and she graduated from college with three years on the Dean's List with no medication and she's doing just really, really well. And I also used it for myself. I had um, been diagnosed with fibromyalgia and I had uh, been to a neurofeedback conference where they told me that neurofeedback could help with fibromyalgia. And so I went back to my office and did 30 sessions in 40 days and after 15 years of having chronic pain all over my body, I got rid of the fibromyalgia. So I used it for myself for some pretty significant issues and I've worked with clients of all ages, <laughs> uh, lots of folks with ADHD. I'm, uh, I've written a number of books about ADHD, so I have quite an expertise in a holistic approach to ADHD, and I work with clients that have depression and anxiety. I've worked with a number of people who had traumatic brain injuries, so we actually could restore function, help them walk better, speak better, uh, improve their memories. I've worked with people with um, uh, bipolar disorder, with sleep disorders, with pain. So basically neurofeedback teaches the brain to regulate itself better so that you can uh, improve lots of conditions because so many of these things are regulated by the brain. So neurofeedback is a form of biofeedback, and biofeedback is a way to give you information about what your body is doing. So you get information, traditional biofeedback was done on muscle tension or heart rate and uh, blood pressure and temperature in your fingers for migraines and so forth, and by getting information about what your body is doing, you could start to change it, and you get a reward of some sort uh, when you are changing it in a, in a in the direction that's healthy. So with neurofeedback, it's the same process, only it's on brain waves. So when you are, uh, we hook you up to uh, sensors that just measure the brain wave, the electrical activity at the scalp, and that brain wave activity is sent to a computer, and you play a video game without using your hands. And so when you are changing the brain in the way that I'm asking you to, which would be uh, changing in a way so it's, it's more normal, the rocket will fly, for example, and you'll get beeps and points. And it's a process of operant conditioning when you get rewarded when you're doing what I'm asking you to. And if your brain wave isn't changing in that way that I'm asking you to, the rocket doesn't fly and you don't get points and you don't get beeps. And believe it or not, your brain just figures this out very quickly and it starts to change the brain waves. And I can actually see the size of the particular brain waves we're working with on my screen changing right in, right in front of us as we're doing it. One was a, a little boy who was nine years old when he started to see me and he had been kicked out of his regular school for violent and aggressive behavior. And he, he was on three psychotropic medications, two stimulant medications, and he was still not functioning well enough to be in his regular school. He had uh, problems concentrating, been diagnosed with ADHD, oppositional defiant disorder. Uh, he lied, he was manipulative, he couldn't sleep. I mean, hyperactive, all kinds of symptoms, which are symptoms of a dysregulated brain. And when I looked at, you know, why was this particular brain like this partly, it's because uh, his parents both had rejected him. His father was not in his life, his mother had lots of other kids, and she had sent him off to live with his grandmother instead, so he felt really abandoned and angry. And I did 46 neurofeedback sessions with him over the course of a year, including psychotherapy, because I am a psychotherapist, so I, I, it's in my blood, I don't, I'm always helping. Uh, and at the end of that time, he was back in regular school, he brought me an A science, A plus on his science exam. His neighbors were complimenting his behavior, and he was off all of those medications. And he said to me, now at 10 years old, he said, Miss Deb, I have a new life. 